Welcome back, it is so nice to be back. For you guys it's only been a week, but for me it's been two weeks. I've had the struggles of Croatia, then went to the beautiful Zagreb, and this happened. So as you can see, it just has not played the same game as the photography one lately. But right now I'm back, I'm so keen, I am motivated in Ljubljana, in Slovenia, which I think may go to quite high in my list of countries visited around the world. So I'm really excited for that. The bus got in quite late last night, went out for dinner, found a super simple composition that just summed up what I've seen of Ljubljana so far very, very perfectly. So I'm gonna head down right now to shoot that. Here is that simple, simple composition from Ljubljana. The leading line of the river going into an absolutely gorgeous bridge and then finishing off with a very, very beautiful church that sums up Ljubljana absolutely perfectly. Colourful, romantic and absolutely beautiful. Two major reasons I come down super early was to get the lights on in the city and also no people, but mainly to get that smooth water so there was no one in the actual water. Camera settings for this shot, 10 to 24 at 20 mil, XT1, three bracket exposure. As I was here super early, there wasn't much light. So the first exposure was about two and a half seconds to get that clear reflection. I will blend two together in post, one for the foreground, one for the sky and a bit of the background as it was just super bright. That is a bridge image shot. I'm very happy with it. Heading around to the second composition. As I said, I've only got 24 hours in Ljubljana before heading on a road trip. It's gonna make the most of it while I'm here. So let's get going and shoot the second image. I've arrived at my second composition, as you can see behind me, but the photography guides are still just not fully with me. I thought this was a pedestrian zone only, but there is one guy in the way, in one little car, get out the way. But I made sure this is my second composition. The other image I shot was the first image that I wanted to make sure to capture. So I was there at the correct light, the lights were on in the city. This one, not so much. There's delivery vans going up and down. So I'm literally just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Okay, the photography guides may be back with me for just a second. I had maybe one or two seconds between cars moving and people moving to get the shot. I got the shot, I'm not that happy with it. It's not a portfolio shot. I just really wanted to be back out taking photography and enjoying it. Full disclosure, I am going to get rid of a few things in post as far as signs, pigeons, distracting objects. But the most important message I can say to this is level your tripod. That is me done shooting this morning in Ljubljana in Slovenia. Any of you people that have been to Salzburg in Austria, Ljubljana is very similar to that. Picturesque, quaint, small, charming, it's very, very similar. The river running through, it's an absolutely gorgeous place. You should definitely check it out if you're in the area. This morning's images are done and shot with. Very, very simple compositions, but that's what I was going for. Anyone out there that's getting started in photography, keep it simple, keep it interesting. Get there at the right time of day and any composition will turn out fine or perfect. The most important thing from this morning's shoot was get there early, get there at the right time of day, but most importantly, level the tripod. 
there's nothing worse than going out and shooting architecture and getting arches or buildings that are leaning into the sky. It looks absolutely terrible and it's a big mistake that people make when first getting involved. If you have to, shoot wider and crop in because there's nothing worse than shooting and buildings leaning in. It just absolutely looks terrible and quite amateur. But as for now, I'm gonna leave you the minute montage of Lublana. I wanna get you off your chair and visit this beautiful, beautiful country. The people are nice, the food's lovely, the city so far is absolutely incredible. I've got a whole day to explore it and a whole 10 days to explore this beautiful country of Lublana. So, cue the minute montage. And montage done. You know, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna say it. Big call, first day in Slovenia, but it actually could rocket to the top list of my favorite countries traveled in the world. It's that good right now. I know it's day one, I know it's a big call, but Ljubljana is just so, so beautiful. But enough about that, enough of my romantic side about Slovenia, I'm here to shoot photos. And right now the light is absolutely epic. I come to this location today, I couldn't make it last night due to the bus being a bit late, but I am here now and thank God, this light is absolutely epic. It's about one hour away from sunset and the light is absolutely perfect right now. This is my camera setup. As I said, I scoured the location today, I knew I didn't have to bring a tripod, which suits me just perfect as it is up a hill. I'm using the little man Frodo Pixie. As good as this is, it has its main disadvantage of it moves a lot. It gives you a lot of camera shake. So I've got everything tied down as firm as it can go. And most importantly, I've got the same JJC remote as last week, but now it's just corded, not wireless. So with everything locked down, camera settings perfect. I've still got a two second timer with the remote. I know it's gonna be pin sharp from back to front. I'm not gonna get any camera shake. That is so crucial. I have to admit that the hues tonight in this sky is just incredible. It's not a saturated photo. It's quite warm tone. It's gonna turn out just gorgeous. And to think it's an hour before sunset and I'm getting the best light. I honestly think at sunset, there's gonna be no light to shoot. So I'm so glad I come early and I'm so glad to have a camera back shooting again. It's just what I wanna be doing. Camera setup tonight is super simple. X-T1, 10 to 24, shooting at 24 mil, so 35 mil in full frame equivalent. F11, ISO 200, two second timer with the remote. That has not changed, simple as anything. Now, the thing that has changed is the shutter speed. I'm chucking the shutter speed on automatic. I don't do this often. The only time I do it is either time lapse or when I'm shooting with this little man Frodo. The reason I am shooting on automatic is because with the X-T1, I love these dials on top. The problem is it takes quite a bit to move them. And as I was saying before, this little man photo moves. So I've chucked it on auto. I know I just have to push the remote now. It'll automatically adjust when the light adjusts. And it's simple as that. I don't have to muck around with camera settings, anything like that. So as I said, F11, ISO 200, automatic shutter speed. It's giving me one sixth of a shutter speed right now two second timer, simple as that, and done.
That is me done for tonight. I'm super happy with the image. Sometimes you just know you've got that shot out the back of the camera and tonight I'm pretty sure I got that exact shot that I'm after. It's not a cocky thing to say, it's just being proud of the work that you're putting out there for people to have their own opinion on. As for tomorrow, I've got car hire to pick up. We're off super early for the next 10 days in Slovenia. I've had plenty of people contact me already wanting to compare Austria versus Slovenia. I will definitely do that as a travel aspect and also a photography aspect. Stick around, there's plenty more content to come. I've put everything behind me as far as Croatia. I've had my holiday. I'm super happy to have a camera back in my hands, getting content out there that I'm happy with and hopefully you're enjoying. So stick around. As for now, that's all from me. Get out there, keep exploring, keep adventuring. And from me, ciao.